the first thing that causes you to get harvest what, what blocks you from receiving your harvest and your growth and increase is a bad spiritual ground is that okay so, number two the second thing that affects people from becoming great in life number two is their foundation so we have ground and we have foundation if you want to see a very huge tall structure no, no matter how the structure is what makes the structure what makes the building powerful is the foundation on the ground that you don't see so the bible even said if the foundation is destroyed what can the righteous do wait 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 wait, wait. the bible says a righteous person don't know a righteous person a righteous person somebody right with god when you are fine but bible says that if their foundation is wrong the righteous will suffer Sorry. so no matter how righteous you are check your foundation and your foundation is from your family ancestry what is the links what is the trace in your foundation so i pray more i fast more i'm doing my best but i've got to reconnect and disconnect my foundation every foundation is about reconnecting and disconnecting if my foundation is good most times pastors preach about generational cares generational cares and generational cares but let me also advise you there is also a generational blessing yes, so this is what you do that god reconnect me to my generational blessing and disconnect me to my generational care. yes lord oh those who are clapping i've got the revelation already ah. from today god is about to reconnect you to generational so so is it true is it true that all the people in your family they were evil people no. is, is it true no. 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 at least one of them was good That's so right. may you stand on the generational blessing Jesus. of that family to work on your behalf Amen. you and your children your family background Jesus. you are about to start a new trend Amen. that will move into the grace and the glory of god Amen. may you enjoy the message of the living god Amen. i reconnect you to generational blessings yes, i reconnect you to generational blessings Amen. let generational blessings overshadow your life right now Amen. receive it now in the name of jesus so it. generational blessing generational blessing wake up in the morning and we are being tormented about generational curses but there are generational blessings and the generational blessings are part of my foundation if my uncle was great i've got to be great Sir. i'm supposed to build on that particular greatness right. why should the uncle be great and after the uncle nobody is able to build a story building again Jesus. in that family it's an error yes, if somebody built a story building you've got to build 10 story buildings That's right I declare that blessing in your family in the name of Amen. Jesus. Any good thing that has ever come in your family, Jesus. because of this altar, I let it be built up. Amen. Let it be built up. Amen. Let it be built up. Amen. Because what the person started was laying the foundation for the family. That's right. I, I, I reconnect you Amen. to every blessing in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. So number one, when your ground is bad, and number two, when your foundation is not strong.